Hi there, and welcome to Beale Science. You know, I have got a genie bottle in front of me. So legend says that if you find a genie bottle and you take the lid off or the cork and then you rub it gently and ask the genie to arrive. <laughs> yeah! Okay. Look at this. There we go. What we're trying to tackle is, is this magic or is it science? No. Obviously, it's science, but what's going on here? Well, there's something kind of magical happening. And the reaction that's happening inside my genie bottle is something that magicians have been using for ages, but also science teachers like myself have been using in the class to represent some pretty incredible chemical reactions. And today, I'm gonna walk you through this, the genie in the bottle. Ooh, that's hot. This is not something that you should try at home because we're using 30% hydrogen peroxide. This stuff is not the stuff mom puts on your cuts. This will burn right through your skin. Hold on, I gotta get my gloves on. We're gonna go with 50 milliliters of 30% hydrogen peroxide. Next thing we need is a catalyst. For the genie in the bottle, what I've done here is I've just taken some Kim wipes or some lens cleaner and fill it up with manganese dioxide. Now manganese dioxide is gonna be a catalyst. It's gonna speed up the reaction that's actually happening in this right now. This H2O2, hydrogen peroxide, is decomposing into water and oxygen right now. But it's boring, because it's slow. A catalyst will speed that up. Is I'm gonna set this in here so just a little tiny bit of that sticks out and put the rubber stopper in. And now, you can't see the catalyst. Hmm, magic. More sign. When I pull this off, boop, that's gonna fall down inside of the hydrogen peroxide. Hey, we've got a genie shooting out of the bottle. <laughs> yeah, okay. It's probably best that I show you what's going on by using a clear Florence flask instead of one that I painted up to make it sort of look like a genie bottle. And we say, legend has it, if you find a genie bottle and you pull the cork and rub it gently, look at this. So this is making oxygen and water vapor, and it's hot. There's a lot of heat coming off of that. In fact, this thing, I'm gonna check the temperature, just went up to 177 degrees Fahrenheit. I want to show you how this decomposition reaction works when it's not confined inside that Florence flask. You can really see what's going on. I'm just going to add a little bit to this Pyrex feature dish. Going in, there's a little bit going in, a little more. There we go. I'm over here. Pretty awesome, right? Well, I got some work to do. Uh, I got a mess to clean up. As I was experimenting, I noticed that in the infrared camera, as that reaction was going on, I could actually see through something that was in front of the camera, a little piece of plastic. And I got to thinking, wait a minute, what if I try this whole thing behind a big sheet of plastic? Like, theoretically, you're not gonna be able to see it, right? But then if we flip it over to thermal, to infrared, Theoretically, you should be able to see it because it was just seen through plastic. But again, there's only one way to find out. It's like, I'm gonna hook it to my hula hoop here. Because it turns out I'm not, you know, much of a hula hooper anymore. We're gonna allow that to cover up the cameras and see if you can see what I can see in infrared. Now, this might just turn out like completely ridiculous. I have no idea if you're gonna be able to see anything. But again, I can't help myself. So actually, if you're about to watch this, it probably did work because during editing, I'm like, I'm gonna leave that in because it turned out cool. So if you're not watching this, it didn't happen. I've got the thermal camera set up over here, okay? And you shouldn't see anything because it's gonna totally, completely, see what I'm saying? But, I think you can see me in thermal right now. I think so. You guys can see me over here. You can't see me in that camera. I think you can see me in thermal. It's only one way to find out. Here we go. 
three, two, one. All right, it's going. It's erupting. I'm wondering if you can see the heat in the thermal. See, you can see that's really happening over here. Oh, it's a good one too. No. <laughs> If that worked. Let's check the FLIR camera and find out. Ah, you know, bonus footage. I'm watching the playback to see if this really worked. Look at that. You can't. Oh! Come on. Look at that. No way. <laughs> That's through black plastic. Isn't that amazing? Wait, I think we have answered the question. Is it science or is it magic? Well, of course it's science, but don't kid yourself. A little rub of the genie bottle is pretty magical if you ask me. And it's a great way to get attention. Woo, your science kids or anything else. So if you're a teacher, if you know a teacher, share this with them. Hey, maybe they can bring a little magic to the classroom as well. You know what, thank you for watching. Come on over to BLScience.com for lots of instructions about demonstrations like this, lots more science or magic, or hit the subscribe button down there. I'll keep making videos if you keep watching.